Good afternoon, everybody. It is 3.56, March 23rd. God bless everybody in Jesus' name. I hope and pray that everybody is holding steadfast. And somebody posted a link on my um, channel. I guess Richie from Boston. And... Uh, I don't watch very many videos, but whenever I see somebody saying <laughs> that this, it seemed like this came out of nowhere and it was all of a sudden, it came quick. Um, hey, you little hound dog. Um, what you doing? What you doing? It didn't seem quick to me because number one, I started noticing this in 2001 when the Twin Towers came down. And uh, the change, what people were doing, drastic changes. And then the housing market. Hang on one second, you guys. Okay. Anyhow, where was I? I started noticing this in uh, 2001 when the Twin Towers went down. Uh, Bush Reed in 23. Then when the new tower was built like 10 years later. Um, it was after the housing market crash in 2008. It was uh, s dropped like 666 points. And then I started seeing like double sevens everywhere. Uh, that wing plane that crashed with the, that was a 777. They found the wing of it, 777. And then a plane landed in the highway by me on the 26th in Clearwater and the number on that plane was 77726 and it was on the 26th when it landed um, just all kinds of things happening I just started like you know it was like really you know I was seeing where things were not what you think they are you know and then what people were starting to do how people were changing but anyhow this hasn't by any means happened quickly. Then I started doing videos in 2014. By that time, I've seen a lot, a whole bunch. More than, yeah, I've shared a lot with people over the, all the years that I've been doing it. Told everybody everything that I've seen, what I was told, what was coming. And, uh, and it's all happened. Everything's happened, exactly. Um, I've seen where Trump jumped out of a tower and in New York, he ended up leaving New York, Trump Towers, and it made the news. And uh, I said he jumped in the water. He moved down there by Florida, off the coast of Florida. And then I seen dead sheep all around. And, uh, and then I seen him jump out of a building wearing a hazmat suit. This was like five months ago, before the China thing happened. And... Uh, I don't know, it was maybe two months later. That's when the China thing, China virus started. You guys, there's all kinds of things that's been going on. You know, we can see where God's been doing things. Um, he's showing things. Like we've heard of the word abomination to God. You can clearly see in the uh, scripture where it says abomination to God. Well, we had a president named Obama in a nation, abomination. He passed, lit the White House up with rainbow colors. And that's the covenant that's broken, okay? God's in control of everything. And the scripture says people are either vessels of honor or vessels of dishonor. And so everything's happening. God is in control of everything. People are saying, oh, they're time future. They're reading the future. No, God is in control. God is showing you what he's doing you know he's showing his he's showing everything it's just people aren't understanding they don't they don't even acknowledge the power of god what he's doing uh like the simpsons cartoon they showed where president trump 10 years before he was president and even showed a piece of paper falling on the ground god has from the beginning declared the end this end from the very beginning he's declared the end then in The Simpsons, it showed where a tiger uh, tore up Zigfield and Roy, one of the one of the people in the uh, with the tigers, 
tore him up. You know, it showed it in the cartoon like 10 years before it happened. And it happened, you know. And a lot of people say, oh, they just know the future. How do they know the future? A lot of people are not acknowledging God's power here. They're just not acknowledging God's power. It's like you got uh, cars. That one car, the Ford car says focus. Another car says escape. Another car says uh, soul. Um, we had the abomination. President Obama in a nation, abomination to God, legalizing homosexual lifestyle. They put the rainbow on a flag. They're waving it in your face, telling you the covenant is broken. And uh, then after that, you had a president named Trump, and the vice president was Pence. You know, I mean, you guys, you can't make this stuff up. Trump, Pence. It's a Trump Pence, like blowing the Trump Pence. You know, all these things are being revealed. And uh, what's perfect vision? 2020. What year is it? 2020. Yeah, you know, and then when I hear people say, oh, this happened suddenly. It just came out of nowhere. None of this stuff's been coming out of nowhere. You guys, God has been doing it. Does it not say lean not into your own understanding, but acknowledge God in all your ways? You guys, listen. A lot of people like to follow channels because they're popular. And a lot of people watch them because they think they're popular. I think it's time everybody started acknowledging God in all their ways, man. You know? Stop looking to be entertained. You know, God is... He's calling. And He's telling people what's happening. And you better believe it. I see it clearly. I told you I asked for a cabin in the woods. What do you think that is? That's a cabin in the woods. I didn't have finances to pay for this stuff. Got everything prepared here. I was told to get prepared. Did it a year and a half ago. Closer to two years ago. I was told to get ready. Done it. Yeah, none of this stuff's a surprise to me. None of it. What does surprise me is how willingly ignorant people are. How little they acknowledge God's power. Those things, they surprise me, you know, that people are not acknowledging God's power. Even a lot of these people with their big channels, you know, they can, you know, they're, it's insane. It's really insane, you know. <clears throat> That's why I say I don't think there's much left to be said. Everything's been said that could be said. And, uh. What people need to be doing is focusing on God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, not on man or women, but on God, our Father in heaven. Acknowledge and uh, repent of your sins. Call on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Believe in him and uh, be dead to this world. You know, God does everything for his good pleasure. And he's shown it to you. Even the names of people. You're either one, a vessel of honor, or you're a vessel of dishonor. You're one of the two. I would be definitely acknowledging God in all my ways. Not, uh, not no people. You know, God's showing you what's going on. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here telling people what God is doing. And it's obvious. You can see it. You can't deny it. It's not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. There never has been. <clears throat> There's been a lot of grace. God's grace. And they've even taken his grace. And changed into immorality. You know. These people saying with their own mouths. They're sinning every day. These people are following them. You know. We're not here saying that we've never sinned. We just said we don't do it no more. We've turned away from it. Now we acknowledge God and we see him in everything, what he's doing. You know, now we're ashamed of the things we used to do. You know, that we don't do no more. You know, now we're dead to this world. Where before this world had a hold on us. Now we sit back and we see how this world still has a hold on people. Most people, actually. 
That's why it's like the days of Noah. Few people are going to escape this. Satan is the prince of this world. That's what it says in scriptures. You know, he really is the prince of this world. Even the churches have fallen asleep. It's going to be a rude awakening, man. But none of this stuff by any means has just happened all of a sudden. You know, when I see people saying stuff like that, I'm like, you know, where have you been? You know, we're a lot further. I've been saying it too in plenty of my old videos, man. I've been saying we're further in this than everybody knows. And we really are. <coughs> Anyhow, it is what it is, right? Everybody's been warned. Everybody's had time. Um, I got to the point where I hardly watch anybody on YouTube anymore. Because, yeah, I don't hear enough people acknowledging God and everything. You know, so it's hard for me to watch anything on, anymore. And all this is getting ready to come to an end anyhow. You guys, it's not about me. It's not about anybody else on YouTube. We're called here to uh, give our what the Lord's been revealing to us. You know, now it's over. The games are literally over, too. They really are. Let me put it this way. If there's going to be games in 2021, you don't want to be here for it. You don't want to be here for it. There's going to be a different games than you can imagine. And it's going to be the foolish that are going to be uh, banging on the door wanting out of here. I've been telling people if you're holding on to your loved ones, you know, and they're not, they're not waking up, they don't seem to be awake. Listen, if they're not awake and they can't see and they got the love of this world, scriptures also says your own children will have you put to death or your children will have you put to death or your parents will put your children to death or your husband will put the wife to death. The wife will put the husband to death, you know, because there's a different spirit abiding in them. It's going to be like turning on a light switch. It's going to happen. Guarantee it, man. People are going to change all of a sudden. All of a sudden. You think this came all of a sudden? Wait until that happens. That's, uh, that's just something I've been shown. It ain't me predicting anything. It's what I've been shown. I know the Lord revealed a lot of things to me. You know? Anyhow. You guys, be strong, be bold in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Acknowledge God in all your ways. Don't lean into your own understanding. Don't lean into other people's understandings. Acknowledge God in all your ways, man. This is what it's about. It's, it's you know, we can sit there and say what the Lord has revealed to us, the things that are coming. They've happened. Everything's happened. 2014, I said the games were over in 2014. Now they're telling everybody on TV and stuff, newspapers, the games really are over. God's the one that's doing all this. He's the one that does it. When I said the games are over in 2014, it was God that was saying it, not me. You know, this is to give people time to get ready. So, I say, you know, to order like dried foods now, man, it's a long waiting list, man, if you can even get it. If there's even enough time to get it, you know. Like I said, we ordered everything. I want to say probably 18 months ago, you know, quite a while ago. We had everything ready a long time ago. Time's up, man. It's really up. And very few people are ready for this. That's why it's called the days of Noah, like the days of Noah were. God bless you guys. I love everybody. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.